What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Facebook Messenger bot. For beginners, we're gonna go over everything from setup to how you actually grow your subscribers uh, and everything in between. So in a previous video I did on real estate, uh, I showed you the exact ads, the targeting, um, the ad copy, the photos, all of that stuff. And then I kind of left you hanging at the end with how we actually convert these guys. So in this video, I'm going to cover that. And this is kind of where I left off, right? So on our thank you page is really where the bread and butter is, right? So we can grab their name, email, phone number. That's awesome. We can follow up with them through text messaging, through phone calls, through email, and that's awesome. What we're seeing is a huge response in Facebook Messenger, right? So 95% open rate, we see at least 50%, if not greater, response rate. And typically, they're responding through three, four, five, six, seven questions where we can get more information from them, right? We know uh, on the real estate and mortgage side of things, we know if they filed for bankruptcy, we know if they're a first time home buyer, we know what their credit score is, um, we know if they're working with an agent or not, we know their timeline to purchase. So just qualifying further, and not even qualifying, it's just more information about them so that we can kind of put them into buckets. Okay, this person can buy, this person needs to work on their credit, uh, this person is six months out, this person is 90 days or less out, right? So it just allows us to know who to really focus on and who to provide long-term value to uh, over the long term. So um, what we do here is I'm just gonna show you this real fast. So I'm gonna duplicate this one so I can show you kind of the thank you screen. And what we do here is say, thanks, we'll send you the info, but wait one more step. And here we say, see if you qualify for our special financing programs by clicking button below. Boom, and then it takes them to a pre-approval quiz. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second and how you can actually download that for free. Okay, so right here is the link that they would go to, right? So typically what people do is they send them to their website, they send them to their Facebook business page, um, they would send them to the listing or they would send them to a loan application or a phone call or something like that. What we found, and we've done a ton of testing on this, is that Facebook Messenger is the best place to take them and get a response from them. So what we use for Facebook Messenger and all of our bots and automation is actually Minichat, which is a free tool. If you go to minichat.com, you can have uh, just set up your Facebook business page and then go from there, right? So I've already set that up. Uh, I actually have a pro account. I think it's $10 a day or $10 per month to start. Um, the pro account allows you to do some cool things. So to do a growth tool for the lead form, or even if you have a landing page on the thank you page, you want to do something very similar here, right? So thanks. We'll send you the info in 10 to 15 minutes, but wait, while you're here, click on the, uh, take the pre-approval quiz button below, and it's gonna do the exact same thing that it would do on this lead form. So what we need here is a website link that would take them into Facebook Messenger and then take them in through that sequence. So that's what we're gonna do here. Through Minichat, if you go to Growth Tools on the left here, and you go click on New Growth Tool, we're just gonna name this pre, uh, let's do example, pre-approval quiz and then here we're going to use this right so message reference URL is just a URL or a link that would send them into the uh, Facebook Messenger quiz right so going through this we're not going to do too much of this we're just going to get the link first so we're going to click next And this is where the link would be. I would call this something like quiz or pre-approval quiz or whatever you want. I'm just going to call this example because I'm going to delete this afterward. What you want to do here is no spacing, no caps, just one easy word. Click save. And that's going to create our, clip, our, uh, our URL. Copy that URL. Go back to your uh, Facebook ad, to your lead form, or even to your, again, your thank you page on your landing page. 
and insert that here. We're just going to delete that, copy that, paste that in there. And there you go. You've got your, this is the way you're going to grow your subscriber list, right? So we just finish that or save that, and then we're done with the Facebook ad side of things. Everything else will be through Minichat. So going back, going back to Minichat, we want to click back here. And then we want to edit this, right? So we're going to edit. We're going to edit the very first conversation with us, right? So we're just going to say, um, thanks for um, your interest. It depends what your very first ad is, right? So if you've got a listing, uh, you would send them, hey, thanks for your interest in the listing. If you are sending them a homes list, thanks for your interest in the homes list. Or say, hey, see, you just say, hey, see if you qualify for our special financing program. See if you qualify for our special financing programs by clicking the button below. Submission point, boom, add button here. We're just going to say take quiz, done, and there you go, right? You can send them right into your quiz. Now, I like editing everything through Flow Builder, so I'm going to click on that. And then from here, what you want to do is create a sequence. Um, instead of sending them through all of the questions that you want to send them through, when they click on this link, we want to add them to, uh, we want to perform an action. I'm going to click action. I'm going to subscribe them to a sequence. And then from there, I've already got this set up, I believe, pre-approval quiz. And I'm going to show you this in a second. So what would happen is they're going to say, take the quiz, and then they're going to go right into the pre-approval quiz. So we're going to click publish here. And you're done on the growth tool side of things, right? So if you were just to do a, <coughs> excuse me, a welcome message that just says, hey, Adam, thank you so much for your interest in our homes list or our 3% uh, down, you know, can't conventional loan or whatever it is. Um, you would want to add them then to a sequence, and a sequence is just a long-term drip campaign. So they would receive messages every so often, right? So since I already did that within the message, and that's that's kind of an advanced strategy. So if you're confused on that, uh, just take them through uh, the normal deal. Right, so we're just going to click next, next, make sure this is all looking good, make sure this is saved, make sure this is on, which it is active. Uh, that's just an easy toggle, you can see if this is off or on, right, you want to make sure that this is on. And then what we want to do is go through uh, our sequence. To find sequences, it's in automation here, you go to automation, then you go to sequences, then we can find what we want. We want the pre-approval quiz. And again, the, I'm going to give you the free template for this. So just click on that below and you'll get that free template, okay? Uh, that is in the description of this video. So click on pre-approval quiz here. And then you can see what this looks like, right? So as soon as they click on take the quiz, they're going to get this initial uh, message from us, right? So we're just going to say, okay, great, what home type are you looking to purchase? They're going to answer. Then it's going to go through, is this your first property purchase? They're going to answer. Then it's going to go through, and, and we're tagging these, right? So we know if this is their first property purchase, they're a first-time home buyer, right? If this isn't, they could be a seller, which is awesome. We're segmenting our list already. And then we go through, okay, what is your credit score? What is your property purchase situation, right? So how long are they looking? Uh, what will this property be used for? Have they filed for bankruptcy? Can they show proof of income? Are they working with an agent or not? And then we can say, okay, we know they're working with an agent. Um, we just want to get them the results and say, peace out, basically. If they're not working with an agent, then that's our opportunity. That's their bucket. That's our bucket to know, hey, we need to work this lead because they don't have an agent yet. They're looking in X amount of days. Let's schedule a call with them, right? So what's their email? Would you like to schedule a time to chat about your results? And then we go into booking a call, and we use uh, Calendly. It's a free tool. Um, if they're not ready to book a call, we'll say, cool, we'll shoot all of your results over via email. And then they go into a longer-term buyer leads sequence where we're going to shoot them uh, messages 
every so often throughout a 15 day period. And then we even put them on a longer drip and then on an even longer drip campaign to provide value, ask questions and go through that. So that is the pre-approval quiz. If you guys want that quiz, it's a free template. Just click on the free template uh, in the description below and I'll give you that. If you guys want to know how to create this from scratch, we're gonna go over that right now. So go back to sequences and then what you'll do is cr click on create new sequence. And then we're gonna say example pre-approval quiz. Click on create. We're gonna click on this button. We're gonna select a new uh, sequence because we're building this from scratch. And what we just say here, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. I like to do this in Flow Builder. Click on this. This is where we're gonna add uh, our questions. So we're gonna say, what um, type are you looking for? Question mark, add a button. We're just gonna say uh, primary secondary, office space, or whatever you want to do, right? Or it'd be like an income property. Um, then you just click on this, that this little button is going to be able to send your next message, right? So we're gonna say next message, um, are you first time home buyer, or is this the first time buying home, or whatever it is? Say, so are you a first time home buyer? Question mark, yes, no, right? And then this is where we really start to segment our list. And then really here, we don't really care. We want these all just to go to this message, right? From here, we wanna know, okay, are they a uh, first time home buyer? They are, perform an action, add an action, and then go in here and add a tag, and then say first time home buyer, right? On this, we know they might have a home to sell. So we're gonna click on that, click on perform action, click on action, add tag, possible seller, right? And then from here, we can segment the list further. We can do send message and go all the way through that, right? I'm not gonna go through all of this. Uh, this is the very beginning and that's kind of how you, you would do it, right? If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm giving you the pre-approval quiz template for free. Just click on that link in the description below. And once again, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell so you get notified, and I'll see you in the next video.